We noticed at the vigil the other night, Mommy was defending Daddy while Daddy, let's see that footage, please. Daddy was in the distance looking over a fence at everything that was going on. What were her words to defend the father? This is the first time that she has spoken out since the Child Protective Services has come to this agreement with the dad that he cannot see the little boys. And she said he's a wonderful father, he's a wonderful husband, and that he loves his children. She said it separately. He loves the boys and he loves little missing Isabel. You know, Leslie Austin, psychotherapist, New York, I've never had a case where the mom did not stand by husband, boyfriend, lover, live in. Right. Well, the wife is the wife is part of the system. If it's a strong marriage, a strong family, she's going to defend him until proven otherwise. There's a disbelief there. Well, also, I think that it touches on the mother's own judgment. Yes. W women often bond with the husband over the children, unfortunately, where they should be protecting their children. This is the first time that the mother, Rebecca or Becky Sellis, has spoken out without her husband standing right there with her. As a matter of fact, we're going to take a look back. As a matter of fact, every other time they've been sitting together, before she will even speak, she turns and looks at him, and either she doesn't speak or she kind of gets guidance from him before she speaks. Let's bring in Aaron Brehov, body language expert, renowned in his field, joining me out of D.C., along with Susan Constantine, body language expert, nonverbal communication specialty out of Orlando. Aaron and Susan, let's all three take a look at what Becky Sellis had to say. My husband's a great father. The kid, the, my husband loves those boys, loves my daughter, is a great husband, a great, um, a great husband, a great um, father to the boys. Let's focus first on what she said the other night. This is just in the last hours where she was at a vigil and she was speaking. Her husband was very apparent. Uh, he was looking over a fence at the vigil as he is now banned from any and all contact with the two younger sons. So he was within eyeshot and most likely earshot. What is your analysis first, Aaron? Of her, of her comments defending the father. Well, she refer, first refers to her boys as those boys, a little bit of distancing language, a little bit odd to see that she isn't thinking so closely about her boys that she said our boys, or use a language that would be more bringing them together. But it's, she does defend her husband uh, very well, and she actually goes back and corrects herself a few times, which is something we typically don't see with people that are very deceptive. They don't want to correct themselves. So that is actually, as some people may see that as a negative thing. It actually does give her a little bit of more genuine attitude. It does bring you a little bit closer to her that she does want to give the clear picture of what she wants to say. You know, all along to you, Susan Constantine, joining us out of Orlando, the mother has seemed to be, uh, to me, very forthcoming. But I did notice that the bulk of her comments were about defending the husband, not as much about bringing Isabel home. Yes, it reminds me of that song, Stand By Your Man, Nancy. And what I noticed when I looked at the tape, and, and Aaron, you're right on point, at uh, point 0.43 seconds to 50 seconds when she's talking about, you know, I know from my heart that, she is, you know, that she's out there, it's just taking a little bit longer. What you'll notice is that she has a very quick little micro expression of self-doubt in her mouth. At the same time that she has these very large shoulder shrugs, not the micro ones that we would find in deception. So overall, what I saw is that the words that she was speaking and the level of confidence that she was using in her words, that her body language betrayed that, that she didn't feel quite so confident that uh, they were quite on top of things here.